Being an internal medicine resident is intellectually challenging and you never feel like you know everything. I love the fact that I'm constantly presented with cases that are um, diagnostic dilemmas. That part of internal medicine is very attractive where um, the learning opportunities are endless. There's a lot of balance throughout the three core years of internal medicine training. First year residents or PGY1s will spend time on the CTUs getting uh, general medicine experience on the wards while also rotating through uh, various subspecialty rotations. In second year, uh, there's a large step up in responsibility that is a bit nerve-wracking at first but is also um, very beneficial to training and that's uh, becoming the senior resident on the CTU service. And this is where the senior resident is, is running the team and that's an early experience that they get here at Queen's. Other programs, that happens later in the training. So a typical day in terms of a CTU senior resident um, starts at 7.45 a.m. where uh, we all attend signing rounds. This uh, morning session is led by a senior resident who brings interesting cases for discussion, um, usually led by one of our faculty staff. The mornings we're rounding on our patients, developing the care plans for the day. We meet as a team to decide on the goals for the day, uh, bedside rounding with the attendings. Senior residents will lead the juniors and the medical clerks uh, in uh, seminars around particular topics related to internal medicine. There's numerous advantages to uh, training at Kingston uh, in a smaller setting here, but I think uh, probably the most important is that it's a real personal uh, attention to you as a resident. With a smaller setting, uh, we're really able to uh, get to know you well, get to know your needs well, and help you uh, along your journey in your residency training. We're a very tight, close-knit bunch, and I think that's one of the strengths um, within the program. It's a very non-intimidating environment. From the top down, everyone involved is very responsive to the concerns and the needs of the residents, and that's a big strength of our program. And We're very adaptable into changing the, the curriculum, whether it's academic half days, the way conferences are scheduled, so that the residents feel that they're getting uh, the most out of their residency time here at Queen's. We're in an area where we see a lot of pathology for internal medicine since we're the only tertiary hospital between Ottawa and Toronto. We see a lot of interesting cases that other centres might not. Sometimes I hear the concerns about uh, training in a smaller setting in terms of the diversity of the patients you see. But I can tell you, having trained in uh, New York City, trained in Los Angeles, as well as been on faculty there, the diversity of presentations I see here in Kingston is actually at least as high as it is in those locations. There is still a tremendous opportunity to pursue your uh, subspecialty training and staying here at Queen's and continuing to uh, enjoy the, uh, the fantastic work environment that you've spent your first three years of your core medicine training in. I think the atmosphere is very positive here. And I think it stems from uh, how closely the residents get along with each other and how closely they get along with the faculty. There's an accountability that goes with it, but there's also a relationship that goes with it. Uh, in our program, I think, you know, you come to do your training, but you end up being part of something. I love living in Kingston. Uh, it's a, a young town uh, with the uh, Queens being here that adds a, a certain amount of energy. Uh, I like that it's close to everything as well. Toronto, Montreal and Ottawa are easily a half day's drive away and closer still uh, just north of Kingston there's some fantastic lakes uh, and parks and Bon Echo and Frontenac. I love uh, hiking and canoeing and those are all uh, a half hour away from me. I walk to work, it's 10 minutes every day, I'm not stuck in traffic. I go right here by the lake and it's beautiful. Um, it's really a great city to enjoy the lifestyle away from your residency program. I really like the convenience of living in Kingston. When you go downtown, there's great shops, great restaurants. There's a lot to do for kids and it's a safe community. So um, for anyone who has a family or kids, Kingston's probably the place for you. I have to say the thing I enjoy most about working with residents is uh, getting to know them personally and seeing them grow over their three years here. You see them come in fresh out of medical school and uh, struggling even just to do a uh, history and physical and initiate a plan on a patient in the emergency department. And then by the end, you see them independent, managing patients, managing complex disease, and you see that growth and you know them personally and it's so meaningful. You really become uh, 
more and more a physician with each day. Uh, you learn each day under the supervision of your attendings and your senior residents and, and that's a reward for them too. They see your training evolve, they see you mature uh, as a physician. What do I not love about what I do? I love working with residents, I love seeing patients, I love the constant intellectual challenge that is internal medicine and I, I just love being around people who continue to push me and push me.